Alrighty, YouTubers. Just got back from our RV camping trip. It's pretty nice. Nice extra long weekend. Uh, went up to Jenny Springs. Had a good time up there. Um, on the way home, though, we stopped and hit an antique store. Picked up a few pieces. Uh, so, picked up this cool old sign. Don't know how old it is. <clears throat> I need to go on Google and look into it. Uh, I think I paid 30 was it 35 bucks for that roughly uh, I've got some new lead tools I don't have these two sizes I have these already but I knew I would need especially the smaller one and I went ahead and grabbed this one because they were only uh, I think six and seven dollars a piece uh, really cool piece of old history that I'll be using on there then a ten dollar horn 12 volt it works so, add that to my little collection. Don't know where or when I'll use it, but eh, for that price, couldn't pass it up. I have that problem. <clears throat> so anyways, decided to, uh, has a, well, I was gonna work on the uh, side skirt panels, but it started raining and actually now it's all cleared up a little bit. So I'll probably jump back out here shortly, but I was working on these little skirts here. This. Um, I wanted to clean this up a little bit. You know, it looks too unfinished, I guess you would say. So I decided to make the panels, shape it and match the curvature of the chassis. And then get this little bend right here. Sweetie pie's home. To get this bend, I used the, uh, what do you call it, leather hammer. Um, uh, rawhide hammer so yeah to, so it wouldn't mar it up i started to hit it here with a regular hammer and realized i was marring it and screwing it up so pulled out the right tool started beating it down fits good so my plan is because the lead's here um and this is such a nasty little corner oh, boogered up and i don't want to i mean i guess the right way probably would be to cut this up higher cut over and just replace this whole piece with one and weld it because trying to grind and weld in this in the corner here next to impossible so the lead will actually be an advantage here I'll go ahead and weld this up though the seam here and grind it down make a match uh tack it weld it from the back side over here and along here to give it a little extra strength and then go ahead and let it in all nice and round and make it you know flow make it flow you know what I mean? Flow joke. Yeah, I mean, it'll look good. Really good. Hey, baby. So, I use a cardboard template to get it started. And then I just cut and bend. Um, I'll actually give you a little rundown how it did it. This one's got the same shape and curvature too. I haven't rounded the edges. Um, but, Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and take this one here. You can kind of see. Kind of bend it there. Bend it there. So I just overcut a piece here, like this, and cut here. And then I cut it down the center, put it in my vise. Uh, the piece and then bent it 90 here and then put it in vice here bent it here and then took the little scribe tool and once i put it back in the panel and scribed it to figure out how much i need to cut here um, i guess i could have left it longer since it's going to be lettered in but i wanted it not so much set back not so much lead work there should be enough there to be nice and strong it'll be better than bondo that's for sure so I'm actually kind of looking forward to learning how to play with the lead. But I think it turned out pretty good. It's the first piece of metal I've ever really formed like this with this kind of shape and contour with basically no tools, primitive tools. Don't have an English wheel or anything. So, I mean, it's not really that complicated anyways. A monkey can do it. So here I am. <laughs> uh, 
So the lead, I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, all the brass I haven't ordered yet. Uh, I'll probably do it this week. Hopefully everything's in stock with the shortage of supplies and all that good stuff. Uh, that could be pretty sketchy. Uh, that's about it. Um, I'll keep playing. Playing with this, I think I said I might jump over and start working on the skirt panels. Um, I got the metal back there. And tomorrow we're going to go metal detect at the beach. And then I think this weekend we're going to go down to the Keys and get a room and have a good time down there. And then back to work on Monday. That's about it. See you in the next video. Hopefully I'll have both these little skirts welded in and it probably won't be lettered in right away but maybe we'll see we'll see how antsy i get but it's getting there i'll catch you guys later peace